hello everyone um, thanks again for being interested in watching my videos we have too much to learn we have many topics and remember that we all are in the age of IP whoops we all are in the age of IP we all are in the age of internet protocol guys whether you like it or not whether you wanna set it or not almost 99 of the electronic devices runs on IP so that's why today we're gonna try to understand MTU right so let's move on to this part MTU yeah today we're gonna discuss MTU MTU fundamentals um, yeah I'm so excited I love this MTU value you know so we're gonna discuss about what is this how it works and then examples uh, examples real life you know real life how with Wireshark we're gonna see how MTU really going on in our networking life day by day great so to be clear with all of this we need to I need you guys to be sure at least you understand the fundamentals of, of some other topics because I'm not gonna stop explaining them right so what I'm gonna require for you it's a deep understanding of TCP what I mean by deep means from back and forth through way handshake where is maximum segment size what is uh, windows scaling where is scaling where is window size basically right um, yeah understanding of Wireshark uh, pretty much this And understanding about the datagram datagram of layer 2 layer 3 and layer 4 and the headers like the data the datagram headers of each like an ex like an exam guys what is the datagram of layer 2 frame right what is the datagram of layer 3 packet right what is the datagram of layer 4 segment, right? So I already assume you already understand these headers. So if you if you if you have like a gap and understanding about TCP and all these concepts, I have a I have a fundamental TCP IP fundamental video, different parts like I have like three parts of these videos where I'm explaining pretty much everything I even have one maximum segment size in a nutshell video for the entry level so Windows Windows scaling also I also have like Windows size in a nutshell video I encourage you to, to explain to you that video is for people who are starting from scratch and they ended up understanding at least the fundamentals so it's a really good video for like newbies or even the advanced people who just want to like they, they have they have some rusty knowledge and some rusty like a fun uh, concept so just to get back to this also have I have a whole video about datagram which covering up all of this so I also encourage you to, sh to watch this video in case you don't have this understanding the headers bytes but even though I already have an, an extra video I will recap all this information in this video also because we will need it for the MTU okay so without further ado let's keep moving 
Okay, great. So, what is maximum transmission unit? Great, so maximum transmission unit is a value. Yeah, it's a value, okay, but how you, you, you express this value? Expressing what? Okay, it's a value expressed in bytes. Okay, so it's a value expressed in bytes, but uh, expressing what? Okay, it's expressing the maximum amount of bytes that you can transmit within your network. So let's see, let's write it somewhere around here. Let's put it here. Yeah, that's simple. Like maximum amount of bytes that your network can transmit. Or, I mean, maximum amount of bytes that you can transmit. in your network okay that's more like clear right so yeah it's uh, maximum amount of bytes that you can transmit in your network okay so for instance if you have like a a movie one gigabyte it's not like you send one block of gigabyte from host A to host B and he got the one gigabyte it's not like this, it's not like you send the movie uh, to here one gigabyte like one block you need to split this, you need to separate this depends of the amount of the network maybe there is an, there is a switch here there is a router and there is another switch here so let's type in another color so if I need to send a gigabyte I need to separate this in X Y and Z values separated in order to get here and resemble it. Why? Because this is how TCP works. That's it. Period. There is no other reason. There is no possible way just to send one block. This is for one gigabyte. Imagine you need to send uh, 99 gigabytes. Right. It's not like you send 189 gigabytes in one block, like like boom, that's it. No, no, no. It's not like this. You you um, segment that part, or the whole block you segment in parts. So that's that part is okay. So how mu like how much amount of bandwidth I'm gonna chunk this? So that the MTU, the MTU answer that question based on the MTU value. Okay, Jorge. So you saying like MTU is a value expressing bytes, expressing the maximum amount of bytes that you can transmit it in your network. Okay, but what what, what value? What how, how like what is the amount of bytes? Okay, so the default in Ethernet is fifteen hundred bytes. How I know this? There is an RFC. I best I based all my source either from examples Wireshark or RFCs. In this case, the RFC A nine four help us to explain about the transmission in IP. So let's check it out. Uh, yeah, so we have here, uh, yeah, let's see, well, I already f trying to find it, whoa, it's, so it's this, right, so this is the document, 
So as you can notice, it was created in 1984. It's called a standard for transmission IP diagrams over the network. So if you're trying to find uh, the MTU, it's saying I want to read this part. The maximum, the minimum length of the data field of a packet so sent over an Ethernet is 1500 bytes. Thus, the maximum length of an IP datagram sent over an Ethernet is 1500 bytes. So that's a fact. <laughs> that's the default value. Okay. So now we know how we got this information from this part okay so whether you wanna deploy your infrastructure you the whole network with a default value that's fine in layer 2 there is something called jumbo frames jumbo frames and layer 2 obviously you also have to tune and change in layer 3 but basically a jumbo frames allows you to accept more than the default in layer 2 because we're talking about layer 2 we're talking about Ethernet because as you can see mm, it explaining transmission of packets IP packets over Ethernet great so over Ethernet is this over Ethernet with Jumbo frames it allowing from 1501 till 9k that's a jumbo frame so this value change so the chunking change obviously so that's basically MTU how much parts you're gonna chunk your data that's the, the, the answer that's we can also summarize it it's this value like is the value of how many parts MTU answers the question how many parts you're gonna chunk your, dat your data your data right great 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 so now we know um, what is MTU now we're gonna see how it's working with Wireshark. Let's move to Wireshark. So as you can see we have a Wireshark with a TCP example dot cap file that you can find it on the internet in sample files from Wireshark. So let's start from layer 4 up to layer 2 because it's 2, 3, 4, right? So layer 4 Let's let discuss about the diagram. Let's make a little recap about these topics. So, if I'm asking you, what is um, what is the MTU that you can use in an Ethernet network for IP packets? The answer is same is 1500, right? If I'm asking you, what is the layer four header? The answer is in between. 20 and 60 bytes depends right so in this case let's check the value go a little bit a little bit up down and then we see that the header length will be 32 so in this case we have 32 bytes for layer 4 okay so for layer 3 we already know that the layer 3 header will be always 20 bytes and the layer 2 header will be always 18 that's a fa that's some facts this is fixed numbers this is variable number right okay if you don't remember I highly encourage you to watch my um, datagram and header video that will be uh, more well explained about layer 2, layer 3 and layer 4 headers uh, but even though if you have kind of like a rusty like this topic kind of rusty in your mind we're gonna like clean it up a little bit here 
so we already saw why 32 bytes let's move on to the layer 3 we said 20 bytes how we know because you can see it here 20 bytes and even you can count your bytes you can even count bit by bit right like if you select the whole IP4 header like a layer 3 header you will see that one complete row is selected plus two pairs and two pairs so this is one pair of hexadecimal which means one byte two bytes in each row they have 16 bytes so 16 plus 2 plus 2 means 20 bytes if you want to count so we already have 32 we already have 20 let's type these bytes and what about layer 2 layer 2 let's go to layer 2 we saw in the row there is just selected 14 let's count 6 for destination Mac as you can see how selected down source 6 bytes and type 2 bytes so it's 14 Jorge you said 18 bytes yeah of course it's 18 is 14 bytes for the Mac and uh, source and destination and 4 bytes for the fr for the checksum right in this case we don't have checksum that's all we only saw 15, uh, 14 bytes great so if we want to know what is the the payload of this packet is not 1514 this is the total length let's put it here total 1514 what is the payload of this particular frame we go to the segment part whoops and then we go all the way down this is the payload the data right 1414 1448 payload whoops payload uh, 1548 okay so let's make some uh, numbers okay Jorge so you have a payload that well let's start from the document so you're telling me that the maximum length of an IP diagram and beyond means, means layer 3 from le to layer 7 so the maximum length of an IP diagram sent over layer 2 or in this case Ethernet is 1500 bytes means everything else that is not counting within layer 2 means everything from layer 3 to layer 7 sent over layer 2 is 1500 okay so oh man I lost this okay so if you count the whole payload plus layer 3 and layer 4 you will see the wonderful amount of 1500 let's let's see 48 plus layer 4 is 32 plus 20 yeah so perfectly match what they say in the document everything beyond layer 3 cannot be beyond 1500 so why is 1514? Because you are in these 14 bytes that we already saw in layer 2. That's why is 1514. So if I'm asking you what is the maximum amount of bytes that you can see that you can use in the layer 3 is this. What is the maximum that you can use in layer 2 what will be the answer you can say oh, the maximum is 1514 because you're using 1514 no wrong the maximum is 1518 because you need to count that extra 4 bytes for checksum because we're not using here but in some other cases we will use it 
so you can max it out till 1518 okay let's put in here so this is Jumbo this is MTU for IP and MTU maximum for layer 2 will be 1518 A question if you want to transfer so yeah if you want to transmit VLANs some complex well it's not complex but uh, you adding more topics you add more other bytes so it turns into like can handle up to 1522 so that's kind of like a tricky questions in the exams and tricky questions in interviews and tricky questions everywhere so like this is a CCNA level I wanna be honest this is a CCNA level a CCNA like taking Cisco stereotypes or Cisco levels Cisco certified or certified associate level allow you to understand everything of this so obviously an expert has to know it from one to the other in case you want to reach the CCIE or like expertise level. This is like a everyday life, networking life uh, topics. Okay. Great. So let's recap. Today in this particular video we already saw what is MTU, how it works, we use examples, real life examples like trafficking data, I didn't show you what was the example about but I was trafficking from a website server a file we were requesting a logo.png file so we chunk it and we're gonna chunk it yeah and this is how TCP works this is nothing related with MTU but as you can see in the last part before the f FINAC you can see how everything it's uh, all the parts are reassembled you see how everything is reassembled and they build it, the whole file, in this case the image this was the payload we were working at the beginning this one, the frame number, well we were working the frame number 8 that was our example so they chunk and then they, they reassemble in the last part, but that's the TCP stuff yeah so okay guys we check examples and we understood like you cannot max it out the maximum segment size more than the MTU what else we do some recaps from the datagram and header topics I highly recommend you to saw to, to watch my uh, some other videos guys to to have a deep understanding of all these topics okay so thank you very much for watching and I hope uh, do this will be useful for you guys somehow thanks